Hey, Dawn back. Well, my uh, scan, uh, I mean my scan, my update on uh, Kipper Sky updated 17 minutes ago. I had to go get me something to eat, so I'm going to get this going and uh, eat while it's doing it. Oh, i got to switch. Okay, I was, I actually used my my phone explorer through the other Windows 7 system to start that up and uh, now I've got to move my KVM switch better watch out I'm going to move my camera I knew something seemed a little funny I don't know I may not have a yeah I don't have a it looks like I'm going to end up having a screen but I can control it with my mouse, and that's what I need. <coughs> so, um, go back over here to object, object scan. It already selected boot sectors. Hidden. I'm not sure everything still looks like it's... Yeah, it's in the screen. Hidden uh, startup objects. So, SDA1, that's my... Um, that 32 with the backups and the... Uh, installation files for Windows 7. SDA2 is my C drive with my Windows 7 and all my personal files. SDA3 is part of the live rescue system so I don't need to scan that. Now, okay the menu has, it says add. If he was going to add anything you'd have to be mounting it because it didn't auto mount it. Uh, I really didn't expect it to say exit expected to say start scanning but uh, oh yeah let me go into the settings I didn't want to take forever because I want to eat my food before it gets cold okay it's got a, a slider bar instead of a specific settings optimal protection appropriate for most users I think I usually go all the way to the top. It's been a long time since I use it. Yeah, for most hostile environments, well, since this thing's full of crap. Prompt when the scan is complete. Prompt on detection. Select action. Yes, prompt when it's. I think it's going to give me a chance if I remember right. It doesn't so much matter on this particular system anymore. Scanned it at least six times and keep losing count. And I find stuff every time, so you know, I think it's so messed up that it's just, um, it's really just a exercise here running this. I usually go through update oh yeah okay see so a couple ways you could update it but I just got through updating it so let's see what's in the settings okay viruses and worms and trojans and malicious tools oh my adware auto dollars other well what would other be legal Compressed files, legal packets could be used by criminals to damage. Okay, so I'm just going to say okay. Could have said cancel because I didn't change anything. Not going to exclude anything. Zero, so I don't need to do nothing there. Notifications enabled already. Reports. I don't want to log non critical events. Remember that last file was a mile long in VBA rescue. It only keeps reports for 30 days. Of course, it's going to stay there forever if you never boot back into this live system again. Maximum file size for the report, 1024 megabyte, 1, gig, uh, one gigabyte? Yeah. Okay. Uh, store objects no longer than 30 days. Maximum size. Whatever. Quarantine and backup. Why would your log file be 1024 megabytes, 1 gigabyte, and your maximum size, well, they don't. You know, that's not checked. But I'm not going to say maximum size because, heck, you could have an effective file that was 3 gigabytes or something. Okay, apply. Okay. Now then, if 
for quarantine. There's nothing in there, of course. Detected threats. Go. Oh, we'll go in there when it's done. Okay. Now I'm going to have to hit exit and uh, see if it ever gives me another screen or start scanning. That button don't. Whoops. What does that do? No active threats. That looks like it went into quarantine. That button goes into quarantine. You would think something like that might go into scan. Some some of them are like that. Exit. No, I don't want to exit Kepler Sky. Well, how do you start the scan? Oh, well, because I can't see. That's why. The phone's in my way. That's what it is. Start object scan. All right. There we go. So, this should take a while. Could take anywhere from 20, 30 minutes to three or four, five. VBA Rescue took five hours and something. Better not take that long. I'll stop it because I'm going to eat and then for within an hour or so I'm going to quit and watch TV and stuff. And this is the machine I watch TV on. Which we no problem since I use Linux to do that with, not this infected Windows system. Because it's a dual boot, like I've said before. 1%. Okay, so I'm going to let it run. I'm going to eat. And uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to use my little KVM switch to get back in that other one, on my other Linux system, which actually I'm using KVM, I mean uh, VNC to control it, and I can actually control the phone through VNC to the, um, basically VNC, it's called my phone explorer, but I believe it's using an, a version of VNC that works in Android to talk to it. So you can't see none of this, but I'll stop my recording from over here, and then I'll start it again when uh, my scan is done, and do, do a little report. Unless I have to quit it, then I'll just guess I'll come back and say, yeah, I had to quit it. Hopefully, if I remember right, Kepersky doesn't take Kepersky doesn't take more than 20, 30 minutes. That's why I went ahead and started it. I shouldn't have brought it. I thought, I'm going to get this started and then I'll eat. Well, my food's sitting there getting cold. Okay. Um, there I am. Okay, this is Dawn, and we'll come back later on the Kepler Sky Virus scan on the Windows 7 on the Dell 1525 laptop.